two-way ANOVA followed by post hoc test in SPSS. Two-way ANOVA is factorial ANOVA. Here in this SPSS, we have data that have three variables. The first two variables, uh, which are independent variable, the job and the gender. So here we have the first factor, which is the job, the second factor, which is the gender. And the third variable is the salary variable which is continuous and this salary is the dependent variable and it's measured in pounds and it is the salary earned annually by individuals or each individual for the factor job there are four different levels or groups or categories doctor dentist pharmacist nurses for the gender there are two categories male and females so we have here two factors with sub levels this is an example of four by two analysis as we have four levels and for the job and two levels for the gender to find out whether there is a differences in the salary earned by each group in the factor one doctor pharmacist dentists and nurses and whether the sex or the gender of an individual also have an effect on the salary whether a male have more salary than a female and since we have here two factors the way to do statistical analysis is to perform two-way ANOVA statistical test as we have here two factors to do that test, three null hypotheses will be generated. The first null hypothesis states that there is no differences in means between groups for factor one. The second hypothesis states that there is no differences in the mean for factor two, males and females. And the third null hypothesis, uh, there is no interaction between factor one and factor two. To perform two-way ANOVA, click on analyze, scroll down to general linear model and select univariate. In this new window, drag the, the job into the fixed factor, the gender into the fixed factor, as we have here the two factors, and the salary, which is the dependent variable, into the dependent variable area. Click on plot or plots, and for the profile plots, select job drag it into the horizontal axis add it to the plot here select the gender drag it into the horizontal axis click on add and then select again the job into the horizontal axis the gender into the separate lines and click on add click on continue click on post hoc test for post hoc test, since gender is just two categories, we are going to select the jobs as it have four levels in it. I'm going to stick with Taki here, click on continue, and for the uh, EM uh, estimated marginal means, click and select all and drag it into the display means for the overall jobs gender and the interaction and for compare main effect select the LSD click on continue click on save and then take the unstandardized click on continue and for options click on descriptive statistics homogeneity test for uh, ANOVA assumptions 
and estimates of effect size click on continue and if you click on ok several tables are generated with plots towards the end so in the first table which shows the descriptive uh, data for the job which have four levels doctor dentist pharmacist and nurses and there are 24 individual in each group and for the gender when the data split by gender have male or female both are 48 the second table is a descriptive statistics that shows the means and the standard deviation for each factor in combination with the second factor for doctors where uh, who whom are males that's the mean uh, for the salary or the average they earn and for doctors whom are females this is the salary the average salary they earn so this is the description of uh, the data for both factors the third table is the test for homogeneity of variance using Levin's test it shows that there is no homogeneity of variance the data has violated one of the assumption for uh, two-way ANOVA which is homogeneity of variance as here shown from the table there is heterogeneity in the variance however the ANOVA is a robust test and we will keep in this in mind but we will continue with the analysis the next table is the table for test of between subject effect this table will determine whether the null hypothesis can be accepted or rejected based on the significant level p value if the p value is less than 0.05 then we reject the null hypothesis the two factors the factor for the job the factor for the gender and then the interaction between the two factors so for the first factor the effect of job on the salary or whether the salary is affected by whether you are a doctor or a dentist or a pharmacist or a nurse it shows that there is a significant differences so jobs uh, jobs category uh, have an influence on the salary and uh, as we uh, seen here that doctors having higher salaries uh, compared to dentists and pharmacists and nurses so there is a significant differences in term of salary based on the profession so this factor uh, uh, in this factor there is a difference in the salary for the gender whether you are a male or a female whether your salary is affected by your gender the p-value is less than 0.05 so there is a significant difference between male and females and for the interaction whether jobs and genders can have an influence on the salary again there is a significant difference so all the null hypothesis will be rejected and uh, the uh, analysis here showed that there is a significant difference between uh, levels within job category or job factor and differences between gender for the gender factor and also interaction between the two factors the uh, next or the following tables um, look at the grand mean the estimate what is important also to consider in this analysis is the pairwise comparison since we found out that there are differences between all four professions in terms of salaries then the Paki test will compare groups together and to make all possible combination to find uh, which one is significant and which one is not here in this pairwise comparison doctors compared to dentists there is a significant differences in the salary 
when the doctor is so compared to pharmacist or to the nurses, again, there is a significant differences. So this pairwise comparison will pinpoint the groups or two groups that have differences in the salary. The first test here will show that there are differences between all the four groups in the factor job and the pairwise will determine pairs by pairs uh, um, significance of differences. Uh, if we scroll down to the um, again here uh, shows that interaction between job and gender doctors with whether male or female and their mean again it's repetition of what is in the tables above the uh, most important one i would like to look at is the plot here as shown here when plotting the uh, factor one which is the job with the salary earned you see that the doctor have the highest mean for salary and the nurse are the lowest for male and females we can see that the average salary is higher for male compared to females and in the last one showing that gender and occupation have an effect on salary earned by individual this is the way to do factorial ANOVA or two way ANOVA in SPSS